Hey everyone, Becky from Week 99 are here. So, in front of me is a pile of games that our friends from Funko Games sent us. They are just the wildest variety of games. So this year, Funko Games has partnered with Disney, with um, Fox, I think some of them are, and some of the other major movie brands to bring us some of our favorite characters and our favorite holiday movies and things. Um, and other fandoms, I should say, not just holidays, in the game form. So I'm gonna go through these games. Um, we're gonna have a full article on the site going live at the same time, talking about the different games and where you can find them. I will link to that, as well as linking to where you can get these. Now, I did already open these so I could get some photos, but I also wanted to um, you know, make sure that they were kind of easier to go through. Now the boxes are very tight and hard to get into, so keep that in mind. The first one obviously we're going into because we're talking about Christmas is going to be Elf. So Elf, I didn't break open the board yet. The board is this kind of snowflake put together kind of area of the North Pole that leads you all the way to New York, but what I want to show you inside, almost all of these games that they sent me came with these adorable tiny little characters. Now I haven't set up the games, we're going to have a big game night eventually, and we're going to have to play these, but I want to show you, you get your own little tiny buddy, the elf, there he is, nice and focused. So this one, I'm going to say it's ages eight and up for two to four players, and it's a 20 minute game. So, if you are sitting around trying to keep the kids entertained just for a little bit um, before you open presents or something, this could be your fun little holiday game. Cute little elf cards, um, cute little gingerbread, and your plan is to get from the North Pole. So you're trying to get to New York City just like in the movie. So I'm really excited about this. This one is a Warner Brothers property. Super fun little game. And one thing I did, I will say, like most of these games that came in the square boxes, this is like his hat, and this is even belted. So it's kind of a cute little nod to the feather in his cap. So before we get into the other big games, I want to show you some of these other ones. We have a Nightmare Before Christmas game. You get your own little Jack Skeleton. This is ages six and up, two and four players, 15 minute quick little card game. Perfect again for the holidays, perfect for really any time. I'm trying to see here if it tells me what the goal on this one is because all of the verbiage on here is in French. Now that doesn't help me too much. It took six years of German. So um, it says combine game for wild action. Match cards and have to figure out your powers. Okay, so there is one little line on there, um, but I love the fact that you get your own little Jack Skeleton. He's super helpful. Now, we also have the Pop-Tarts game. Now, this one doesn't have a character in it um, because I don't know that Pop-Tart has a character, possibly. So, this one is grabbing the most Pop-Tarts. This is ages 13 and up and two to six players and the winner, whoever eats the most Pop-Tarts. Um, I believe you get Pop-Tarts as well as action cards for this one. It doesn't say how fast this one is, but it is something that you can quickly play with your family and keep them entertained. Now this one brings me so much joy with the Christmas story one. And you get an itty bitty tiny leg lamp. This is for ages eight and up, three to six players. And you're using the leg lamp to triple dog dare players to trade presents with you. The whole point of this game is to get Ralphie's most desired present for the holidays. Super cute. And you know, if you're in the Midwest, when things are safe again, you can actually tour this house down in Cleveland, which is really kind of fun. And they do have a leg lamp in the window too, and you can buy your own while you're down there. One of my favorite Christmas movies, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This one is, let's see here, ages eight and up, two to four players. The goal of this one is to make a light circuit with your cards and to get a whole collection of lights that is not tangled and not a broken line of lights. 
This one doesn't. I don't believe this one actually has a figurine in it. Like I said, these boxes are a little tight. So we're gonna kind of wiggle it around and see what we can get in here. So there we go. It doesn't have a little character figurine, but it does have some fun cards, like you can get the little moose cup. Um, and these are the ones, these are your actions, and then these are, well, actions and quotes, and these are your lights that you're trying to get put together. Super fun, cute, something that you can play just in time for the holidays, or if you like it, you can play it anytime, or when you're watching the movie. So one of the ones they showed us when we talked to Funko Games at Sweet Sweet, I believe it was, or was it Holiday of Play? One of the toy shows we attended was they have a Haunted Mansion Call of the Spirits game. So you guys, if you love the Haunted Mansion, this might be the game for you. Now it does come with a board that is the mansion. It does give you different actions and things you do in there. And your characters, it looks like they're little, um, let's say they're like phoenix statues. They're not really, they're not gargoyles or anything super creepy. But what I was super excited about in here, and this one is ages eight and up two to six players. Underneath all of this stuff, we have our characters, our, our little phoenixes, I guess your pieces. Um, we do have things like candelabras and other things in here. But what made me really excited, we actually have the hitchhiking ghosts. So these are really, really cute. I absolutely love the Haunted Mansion. So I'm really excited to check this one out and to play it. Um, and since I believe it is two to six players, it is something that we can play here alone and we don't have to have a bunch of people over to do that. The inside of the box, though, I mean, if you've ever been on the ride, this is, you know, the expanding room. Super cute stuff. So, the next thing they have, the next game they have, is Back to the Future. Now, this one is a little different than all of the others. So, Back to the Future, I believe this year is the 30th anniversary. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. But this game, I want to show you something in here. Now it does come with a couple characters um, or figures, I guess it would be. And this one, I'm trying to see the ages. It doesn't have it on the front, but we will find that in just a minute. Oh, ages 10 and up, two to four players. Now this one is going to be a longer board game. Boxes are really well made and tight. So we have our pieces here and we have the DeLorean. Your instructions actually come in a comic book. Everything here is almost like a little comic book and you do have your character pieces. You can play Marty or Doc. Um, you can play Einstein, all of those. And you get your own little DeLorean. So that's really cute. And they went to some great detail to make sure that this was kind of a retro feeling game and, you know, retro pieces and all of your pieces are kind of comic book-esque. So I'm kind of looking forward to playing this one too. This is a lot different. And then on, when you set your board up, one thing they actually have, you can actually put the clock tower in the building there. So that's kind of cool. All right, we have one more game. And just like everything else, like I said, I will be linking to where you can find these as well as our review that's on our site when it comes to these. And like I said, this is really cute. I'm kind of excited to kind of check all of these out. We can even play Biff. I don't know if you want to play Biff, but somebody's got to be Biff, right? So the last game we have, that one in there, is a Funko vs. strategy game. And the, again, we started with Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, almost, we started with Elf. And then we're ending the Nightmare Before Christmas. This one you actually get four Funkos. Now, these Funko figures, they're not the minis. I have those all over and they're not the full size. They're like this mid-range size. And this one's kind 
kind of a, it's a strategy game. You face off in the ultimate pop battle and you get two Oogie Boogie dice. So last year about this time I think I had gotten a um, Nightmare Before Christmas surprise box from Hot Topic that I purchased that we got some of these Oogie Boogie dice. So this one, ages 10 and up, two to four players. I think the value of the game is even just right in these, plus you get plenty of game time. So these are just a handful of the games that they've released to this holiday season. They are very, very well done. Um, they took the detail and the time and all of that to get everything right for every property. And we're going to have a lot of fun playing at the holiday season. Some of these are small enough for stockings. Some of them are great family gifts. If you do family game night, perfect additions to that. So I will make sure you have links for everything. But that's it for today, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.